Hello and welcome to Moving Parts Gaming. I'm Riley, and this is Fallout 1. In case you missed it last time, uh, we finally completed the glow, uncovered more of the mystery of the FEV virus, uh, killed a whole bunch of robots, got killed once, but I think we're doing pretty okay now, and uncovered the mother load of loot. And that's where we left off last time. Uh, I found one more uh, data pad when I loaded the data off of the hollow disk onto the pit boy. I got enough experience to level up. Then I accidentally hit the character tab and without wanting to risk my brick point, decided to go ahead and start here and show off uh, how I'm going to spin this level. So first off, let's look at what are the new perks for this level. We have Action Boy. I believe this is our first uh, shot at Animal Friend. No, we got Animal Friend before. This might be the first time for, for Fortune Finder, which is the same as um, what, which is the same as what has been in previous or in future games, uh, which is just more opportunities to get caps. But I don't think we need that, seeing how we have broken sixty thousand caps. Uh, Master Thief just puts in additional points into steel and traps. Uh, this basically converts your perk point into uh, additional skill points. That is a terrible trade, never do it. Uh, because of course, as we've seen, we have more than enough skill points and not nearly enough perks. Uh, same with Medic, except that is 20 points into First Aid Doctor. We also have Mr. Fix-It, which is about the same, just 20 points into Repair and Science. I believe this might be our first time uh, seeing Mutate, which allows you to swap out one trait for a different trait in case you chose the wrong one in character creation. I think the only time this would ever be worth it is if you chose Skilled. I think it was Skilled. Might be Gifted. No, I think it was Skilled. And Character Creation, because that might be the worst trait in this whole series of the game. This might be our first shot at Scrounger, which is more ammo, but we have more than enough ammo. Well, we have more than enough mono, money, which gives us more than enough ammo. Uh, there's another uh, skill points perk. There is Swift Learner, which doesn't mean anything. And finally, at the very bottom, we have Tag. And of course, this is Tag, which is the same as what it is in earlier, not earlier, in future games, which allows you to pick a fourth tagged skill which means that it's going to level faster and you get a decent boost to it as well. For a shooting based character, this is the essential uh, level 12 perk. Well, this or Action Boy. Perk number 12, or perk for level 12, either has to be Action Boy or Tag. Uh, if you are building a shooting character, I'm going to choose Tag because this is a perk I've been waiting for for a while now, and I'll show you why in just a second. Let's grab tag, and we are going to tag, where is it, where is it, where is it? And we are going to tag energy weapons. That's right, we are going to start specking into energy weapons because that is our end game weapon of choice. All of those final weapons, there it is, beautiful. All of the end game weapons that deal the utmost amount of damage are in the energy weapon class. So. Building proficiency in energy weapons will help us keep up in the long-running DPS race. So I'm going to dump all 46 points into energy weapons. If I had realized that I wanted to start stockpiling points, I really should have started two or three levels earlier than where I did. So like starting at maybe level 9-ish. Really, once I got speech, first aid, and small guns where I wanted them, I really should have just started uh, stockpiling until now, but you know hindsight. So I'm just going to dump all of these points. So we just went from level 20, or we just went from 23% in energy weapons to 120, almost 100 points. 92 to be exact, actually. That just made us extremely, extremely powerful. And while I'm at it too, I might as well point out that I got another log that was the Delta Experiments. Oh, and it was just a bunch of errors. Oh, that's awesome. I hope this is intended and not something wrong with my version of the game. Well then, in addition to getting enough, getting enough skill points to level up, 
and become an utter energy weapons uh, tank. I also found a decent amount of uh, weapons and armor. I found my third set of combat armor, which I gave to Ian. So now Ian, Tycho, and myself are all wearing the same kind of armor, making it almost impossible for me to tell us apart. But oh well, you know, that's how these things go sometimes. It also means that Catch is the last person still using the old school leather armor, uh, but she was the last person to join the team, so it kind of seems fitting, I guess. We'll do something nice for her at some point. And since then, I've, uh, or since the last episode, I've just been trying to balance my carry weight between all three companions because I found a Gatling laser, well, laser rifle, plasma rifle, a laser pistol, a minigun, a whole heap of grenades. So I've really just been trying to, I've really just been using my value to weight guide that I have up on my website to figure out what's worth carrying back and what can I leave behind without too much love lost. So I'll, I'll show that off in just a second. All right, so it took a whole lot of doing, but all four of us now have 100% carry capacity. And also I switched over to the turbo plasma rifle. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the burst fire that I thought it would have. I was just misremembering. But it does have a lower action point cost for uh, shots, which is nice. I thought, there were, I thought this was the energy weapon that had burst fire, but oh well, it's still the best, one of the best damage healing weapons there is. Yeah, we had to leave a decent amount of stuff behind, but it's mostly like rope and junk. One thing a rope, a leather jacket, a knife, crowbar, the brass knuckles that Ian kept using. Took that away, he's not allowed to use that anymore. Put that back. Then we need the blue key, I think. But yeah, with all of that, I think we are safe to head uh, back topside. Actually, I also did load the uh, Brotherhood of Steel uh, hollow disc onto the Pit Boy. I think that was the last thing we hadn't looked at yet. Actually, let's talk to the computer one more time. Is the alien gone? Oh no, it's still there. That would be weird. That would be actually pretty cool. How does the virus work? How do you catch FEV? It cannot be caught per se. It is not transmitted through air. Typically, infection is through injection, but direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Oh, okay. Oh. Oops. Okay, so this is kind of just rehashing a lot of the stuff that we looked at. Yeah, that was just rehashing a lot of the FEV uh, research that we looked at from before. So I'll continue topside. The Wikipedia page for this place lists or says that the keys are supposed to be a reference to Doom, because I guess the keys kind of look similar to the keys in Doom. Kind of vaguely look similar, and like the doors for the elevators are supposed to look kind of similar as well. I guess I kind of see it. It's also a very video gamey thing. I don't know if I don't know if Doom can really take credit for being the first people to use that idea though. Oh, I probably... Oh, can I raid these bodies? I can raid these bodies. Yeah, there's just that one body there that... Oh, uh, you see a dead loser. Awesome. Can I head out this way? Let's walk along the coast some. It's really hard to see because the... The map is so dark. Oh, and you can see straight out. Oh, that's really cool, actually. I didn't know they, I didn't know they did that. But you can straight, see straight out across the coast. What does the coast map look like? Oh wow, that's cool. I haven't seen the coast maps before. There's supposed to be at least one random encounter that's unique to the uh, coast. Can I look out here? Oh, my rad axe was wearing off. That's not a big deal, though. Okay, back to the world map. You'd think there'd be more of a tide, or um, waves crashing, but I guess that's okay. Can we go down to Mexico? If that's LA, this has to be around San Diego. Yeah, this has to be like, maybe on the border-ish. Oh no, we're getting attacked by Border Patrol. Good thing Border Patrol's weak to plasma. Shoot it in its scorpion deck. Oh, huh. that was a great little explosion. Can I shoot again? Oh yeah, I can take an unaimed shot too. 
And that's the power of the uh, turbo plasma. I take a little bit of damage there, but good thing we are super overpowered. I'm not even going to bother taking the tails off of this because the tails just weigh so much. And we are at 100 across all, our, all of our inventory. Awesome. What a battle. They didn't they didn't even stand a chance. So we just killed Border Patrol there. What's that? Trash. Awesome. And yeah, let's just head back along the coast. Yeah, that has to. Oh, did we get another special encounter? Oh, this is a good one. I know this one. We stumble across some wrecked cars in the middle of the wasteland. Poisonous lockers. Used car salesman. Can I talk to the used car salesman? Hi. Welcome to previously owned car lot. Which one of these beauties interests you? You must be joking. These cars are all wrecks. But sir, these are fine examples of motor vehicles. They can't be in working condition. These cars have been given a full 100 point service by our dedicated service department. Where's your service department? Right over there, sir. The dealer points to nothing. There's nothing over there. What do you mean? They're working on a newly purchased 56 Corvega. An excellent buy, I might add. Okay. Why can't I play along better, though? I would have liked to play along more with this guy. And you have an excellent warranty. Or, and we have an excellent warranty. You can bring it back to us for any oil changes as well. The first one is free. Of course the first one is free. What do you say? Throw in a full tank of gas and you have yourself a deal. I'm sorry we don't have any petrol. Maybe next time. Goodbye. Awesome. That's that's great. But, 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 go into the shack. It's locked. Pick the lock. Oh, yeah, that's right. I broke my lock. Thanks. Number two. Okay, we get the door open. I would have dynamited the door if I could not get that door open. It's that important I would get in here. Ignore most of this stuff we can ignore. That's if I wasn't at 100%, that's pretty good loot, honestly. And what's this one? There it is. This should be the limited edition Red Rider BB gun. Or is it this one? There that's it. Also a motor, apparently. Why is there a motor? That's a unique item that I don't think has any use in this game. That's so weird. But here is the limited edition Red Rider BB gun, possibly the single best gun in the game. We're going to have to drop some junk. Okay, here we go. So, for some comparison, the Turbo Plasma does 35 to 70. The limited edition Red Rider does 25 to 25. It's... Not as good as a top-level plasma weapon, but this thing outclasses most small guns, plus its consistent damage. That's major, and this uh, encounter is the only way in the game to get it. Pretty low action point cost, too. I'll use that. I'll use it for a bit. It has a clip size of 100 as well, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave most of the um, low-level loot, loot behind. But I think we're only missing like one or two more special events. That is extremely lucky. I'm very happy about that. Oh, that looks like a crater right there, but that might just be LA. Can I not fill out this section of map? Oh, I'm getting attacked by something. Oh, that's interesting. Well, boys, I think you've uh, picked on the wrong guy. See, I have a BB gun and I'm going to shoot your eyes out. Shoot him in the eyes. I just killed him. I think that just... I think the BB just went through his brain. 43 points of damage. And then I can shoot again. No point in reloading. And that did 22 damage, so not too bad. Catcha unloads with a shotgun. Up next... Oh, you kind of hit Ian there somehow. Come on, Ian. Ian returns the favor. Uh, Tycho's taken a little bit of damage. His armor's soaking up most of it. 
Uh, someone returns the favor to me as well. And they're just plinking away, mostly uh, fours and fives. Uh, Katja forgets that. That thing has a full auto setting. Ian reloads and decides to keep shooting. Now it's back to my turn. I think it's time to take out some more eyeballs. Eyeballs! And then I have one more shot. Kaboom! Another guy hits the deck. Alright, then they are plinking away at us, doing minor damage all around. More minor damage. Tycho decides to switch back to the combat shotgun, and he doesn't forget that that thing has a full auto setting. Back to my turn. Now, I think it's time to go for the dick. We just shot a BB down his urethra. He is dead. Alright, let's go back to normal shot. And we hit Tycho for 12. Uh, luckily, that was in full force. Uh, Tycho is in. Tycho burns a stint pack and then kills off the last guy. All end my turn and then combat ends automatically. Fun, kind of consequence free fight right there to show off the fun of the limited edition uh, Red Rider BB gun. Very happy I got this one. Just dropped a quick save. Now let's head back to the world map. And I'm just still trying to fill out the map a little bit. Can I come down here? Is that going to be enough to fill out the map? Not what I wanted to do. Coast map looks like exactly the same. Oh yeah. Yeah, you have to be standing on that corner right there to fill out that section of the map. Go north. There we go. Just wandering along the beach. I think that's like Long Beach. We get ambushed again, not that it matters too much. Yeah, it looks like Ian almost killed us with the burst from the combat shotgun. I'll take a second to uh, heal myself, then we'll be back to the map again. While I'm at it, I'm just going to switch back to the plasma rifle. It's been fun, but I want to see some more fiery death. I think this is Long Beach. I don't know SoCal that well. And we're ambushed again, not that it matters too much. Except for that I missed. Do I want to come here? We could stop off at the gun runners, but the gun, like stopping at the gun runners means we have to go through the death claw before we can get back to the world map. And that's dangerous. We might be better off going, retracing our steps to the hub first. Yeah, let's go to the hub first. This will give us a good opportunity to uh, drop off some of the stuff we want to hold on to uh, at the house. Alright, so we are back at the house in the hub. I did a quick tour around the market district to sell off some junk. I know this was a little bit of a slower episode. We did kill a lot of uh, ambushes without a problem, uh, but I promise starting next episode. Like, next episode is going to be a... Uh, uh, there will be plenty of action, plenty of plot progression uh, starting next episode. And then we will continue on to the Brotherhood of Steel uh, to talk to them a little bit. Uh, because after everything we've been through trying to get them this little hollow disc, I think they owe us something big. Something very big in particular. And of course, we do need to save Adidam from the regulators. So we have a lot of uh, big fights ahead of us, a lot of uh, big mysteries to uncover. We'll get started with that next time. But until then, I'm Riley with Moving Parts Gaming. This has been Fallout 1. Stay tuned. And I will, of course, catch you next time. See you guys.